one hit music station. <laughs> so, uh, how was Boston two days ago? I've always wanted to go there. You've never been? Never been. Look. Wow. Yes. Uh, yeah. Too. yeah. Wow, man. Um, Boston was awesome. Honestly, uh, you know, we've been there a couple of times now. You know, as a band, it's definitely a city that you hit a lot, and um, it's been great. The, the the whole scene was just really cool. It was like a really nice night out, and um, there was actually no Red Sox game, so it kind of like took a little bit of the frantic <laughs> nature out of that area because we played the House of Blues, which is right behind. Oh, I've always wanted so. to go to the House of Blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good one. Talking with one. the Honor Society in the studio. Um, how was the Jonas Brothers tour? Was that awesome or what? It was incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I remember being here in Charlotte, um, running outside the venue. Talk about a hot day. It was like 90 degrees. But uh, incredible, incredible experience. Uh, great tour. We're, you know, we're great friends with the guys, and, uh, and Jordan Sparks is awesome. And it was just, uh, just an incredible experience, you know, night in, night out, playing in front of huge crowds, and, I mean, just great energy. And you guys actually got to uh, tour with Timbaland, too, on about six dates? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, um, we actually got to tour. It was Timbaland. And then North Carolina's own Petey Pablo was on the tour as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, we got to meet him. And uh, <laughs> no, the tour was really cool. We actually did Boston, like you mentioned before, uh, the House of Blues. So that was a cool. We did New York. Man, P. LA. Diddy showed up. Yeah. Uh, Lil Kim showed up. Out in L.A., Drake showed up. Justin uh, Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> the game showed up. It was, it was a really cool tour. All right, so how old are you guys? I'm 30. I'm also 30. Uh, 31. What's up? I'm 23. Okay, so performing at Miss Teen USA? <laughs> Not uh, a bad game. I was gig. only 29 at the time. <laughs> 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 that was, um... It was rough. I mean, we had to go to the Bahamas. It was, uh, yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. like when faced with having to go to the Bahamas to play for presumably the hottest team from every state <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. in the USA is... It's a, you know, tough. Twist, twist our arm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so the new CD is out. <laughs> <laughs> Change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> Take a hard left. <laughs> so, the name of the new CD? Uh, the name is called Fashionably Late. Okay, and you guys are on the Fashionably Late Tour right now? Actually, we're on the Here Comes Trouble Tour. Uh, gotcha. The Fashionably Late Tour was uh, was this past fall. Okay. And we were, we were here in Charlotte at the Fillmore also, and it was awesome. So, uh, we're expecting tonight to be hot and mm. awesome. And where do you go from here? Man, we, uh, we're actually headed to Raleigh tomorrow. So, we're staying in North Carolina, doing Raleigh, and then uh, finishing up the tour. Uh, with shows in Nashville and then Atlanta. Yeah. And then, um, oh yeah. Sorry. No, I saw, I saw the last day it was Atlanta. That should be good. Yeah. Yes. I'm really excited about that. Actually, it's going to be really cool. And um, yeah, and then we go back to LA, and we're just going to be you know more of just writing and kind of just you know game planning for the summer and for the fall and everything. And you know we're just really excited about everything. We've been so fortunate, you know, to like when you read things back to us, you know, like we've opened for the you know played with the Jonas Brothers and Timbaland. It's you know it's uh, and then to do our own headlining tour is just such a cool thing. So we'd love everyone to come out tonight because. We were actually here yesterday, and Charlotte is just like an awesome mm -hmm. place. Yes. You know, it's just like everyone seems like really cool and really nice, and yeah, and we just want everyone to come out tonight uh, to the Fillmore and just have a good time. Yeah, and for those, I, I know the Fillmore is a new venue here in North Carolina. It's right by the Music Factory, North Carolina Music Factory. It is one of the coolest venues. One hundred percent. We've played brand like two hundred shows in the last year, and this is one of the coolest places to yeah, play. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's just really, it's really nice in a new venue. Actually, me and Jay, we saw Corn last night there. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> come on, man! <laughs> I had to work. <laughs> we won't, we won't rub it in. Yeah. Please, please don't. I want <laughs> to see corn. And then I heard Lit Biscuits back together too. Is really? That right? oh, They're coming yeah. back to the area. So, wow. um, we could be opening for them next. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, I just moved here six months ago, so I've actually never been to the Fillmore or anything like that. Hi, right. right. uh, Indiana. Indiana, cool. right now. Awesome, man. So close to Indianapolis, where uh, Butler's from. Right uh -huh. So, um, what's your guys' drive behind writing music? Do you write the lyrics first, or do you lay down? Um, how do you do it? it? Can go either way, really. You know, whichever whichever inspiration I guess strikes first. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times we like to sort of start with you know a title, you know, because it just kind of gives you a good concept to work with. But um, you know, sometimes it's you know a synth line or progression that that Jay may come up may come up with, or a guitar line, you know, a bass line or a beat. You know, sometimes and, and it's just. The, the bottom line is just to express what's going on in your life, you know, and, and mm -hmm. how it comes out first is, could be anyone's guess, really. And you guys got any uh, future collaborations coming up with anybody? Ooh. Wow. Um, you can spill it right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, have, we might have some tricks up our sleeve. I don't know if we can really say anything right now. Yeah, I mean, we can tell you some people would be a dream to work with, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Um, 
you know, being on tour with Timbaland and just seeing his genius, you know, so up close like that and talking to him and stuff, that, that would be phenomenal. That would be. Um, he's just like the, the best. He's incredible. Um, you know, we were actually at another uh, radio station recently on tour and they were trying to Put in the put in the atmosphere that we should do something with Bob. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. that can, that you know, can work. That, we'll see if that happens. And, <laughs> you know, man, we're just honestly, it's like we're just up for anything. We like we love music, so we're down to work with whoever would be down to work with us. That sounds good. You guys are gonna rock the film tonight. I know you are. Thank yeah, you very much. Thanks, appreciate it.